Some people worry that when you, you talk about progress that it'll uh, reduce people's commitment to make things better. Uh, they think when you talk about progress that it shows you're naive and that maybe you don't realize uh, all those things that are left to be done and how horrific they are. Uh, and you know, so sometimes that purely that negative side of the story gets told, but you lose something very important uh, if you only look at it that way. Uh, you lose the optimism about what's possible and you lose the information where you look at the places that have done better than others and you understand what is it about delivery, innovation, partnerships, caring, what has come together uh, for the very best progress and then spread that uh, to the other places. Uh, that's what will help us drive at full speed. Bill Gates, one of the biggest names in the business world, whose lead is still followed by many emerging leaders. One who always used to make his employees present their ideas regularly. One who is goal-oriented. William Henry Gates III is one of the best business leaders to take motivation from. Let's take a look at the inspirational success story of the founder of Microsoft, Bill Gates. Gates was born on October 28, 1955 in Seattle, Washington to father William H. Gates Sr. and mother Mary Maxwell. He, in his early life, was a brilliant child. He used to score reasonable grades in all subjects but had a special interest in mathematics. At the age of 13, his parents shifted him to Lakeside School which was considered a highly demanding institute. The school acquired a computer terminal. Bill Gates grabbed this opportunity very well with his friends and his business partner Paul Allen. They explored the possibilities of a new technology in utter fascination. This exploration taught them the basics of computer programming. In 1973, Bill Gates got selected at Harvard University and thought of making a career in law. But he dropped out of college in 1975 to pursue his business with Ellen, which was Microsoft. Gates had a very different personality. He spent much of his time in the computer lab rather than studying lessons in the class. He did not have a study routine in particular. He used to take only a few hours of sleep and crammed to pass tests and exams with reasonable marks and grades. I love school. I mean, uh, I loved it when I was there, and even now I read more textbooks. And so it's kind of ironic that I'm a dropout because I, <laughs> I read more. I like to learn as, uh, as much as anyone yeah. I know. Yeah. Gates and Ellen used to conflict a lot in high school. In one heightened argument, Ellen restricted Gates from the computer lab. After their probation, they were permitted back in the computer lab when they were offered to troubleshoot the program. During this time, Gates built up a finance program for the computer organization by hacking and planning a program for the school. In 1970, when he was 15 years old, Gates and Ellen started a new business as partners creating Trafodata, a computer program that checked traffic designs in Seattle. They got $20,000 for their efforts. However, Gates' parents needed him to complete school first where they wanted him to become a legal advisor. Their ways parted as Gates moved to Harvard for further education. However, they kept in touch. Later, Ellen dropped out to work for Honeywell. He indicated Gates a version of Popular Electronics magazine highlighting an article on the Altair 8800 smaller-than-expected PC pack. Both youngsters were intrigued and reached the organization, announcing that they were taking a shot at basic programming that would run the Altair PC. In actuality, they did not have an Altair to work with or the code to run it. Yet, they were keen to observe the reaction of the company making Altair. 
In 1975, Gates and Allen formed Microsoft, a blend of microcomputer and software. At first, all was not smooth sailing. Although Microsoft's basic software program for the Altair computer netted the company a fee and royalties, it was not meeting their overhead. In February 1976, Gates wrote an open letter to computer hobbyists saying that continued distribution and use of the software without paying for it would prevent good software from being written the letter was unpopular with computer enthusiasts but gates stuck to his beliefs due to a clash gates and allen once had to sue the new owner of mits to retain the software rights they had developed for altair microsoft wrote software in different formats for other computer companies and at the beginning of 1979 gates moved the company's operations to bellevue washington all 25 employees of the young company had broad responsibilities for all aspects of the operation product development business development and marketing although the company started out on shaky footing by 1979 microsoft was grossing approximately 2.5 million dollars at the age of 23 Gates placed himself as the head of the company with his acumen for software development and a keen business sense he led the company and worked as its spokesperson Gates personally reviewed every line of code the company shipped often rewriting code himself when he saw it necessary Did you know once Bill was gaining a reputation as a ruthless competitor Several tech companies led by IBM began to develop their own operating system called OS2 to replace MS-DOS. Rather than giving in to the pressure, Gates pushed ahead with the Windows software, improving its operation and expanding its uses. In 1989, Microsoft was successfully introduced with productivity applications such as Microsoft Word and Excel clubbed in one compatible system. In 2000, Gates ventured down from the everyday tasks of Microsoft, giving the activity of CEO to school companion Steve Ballmer. During his career at Microsoft, Gates held the positions of chairman, chief executive officer, president and chief software architect, while also being the largest individual shareholder until May 2014. Gates was the world's highest earning billionaire in 2013. On March 13, 2020, Microsoft announced Gates would be leaving his board positions at Berkshire Hathaway and Microsoft to dedicate his efforts to philanthropic activities such as climate change, global health and development and education. In 1994, Bill Gates married Melinda French in Hawaii. Unfortunately, Gates lost his mother because of breast cancer only a couple of months after their wedding. Gates and Melinda decided to travel and take a break in 1995. Both are blessed with three children: Rory John Gates, Phoebe Adele Gates, and Jennifer Catherine Gates. In 1987, Gates turned into a tycoon. when the stock hit 90.75 dollars from that point forward gates has been at the top or if nothing else close to the top of forbes yearly rundown of the main 400 wealthiest individuals in america today his net worth is 127 billion dollars gates has received numerous awards for philanthropic work He was named under one of the most influential people of the 20th century by Time magazine. In 2006, Gates and his wife were awarded the Order of the Aztec Eagle Award by the Mexican government for their philanthropic work throughout the world in the areas of health and education. In 2016, the couple was again awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom for their significant contribution to information technology and international philanthropy 
After being retired from Microsoft in 2008, Gates was popularly known as a very demanding and rigid boss who also encourages creativity and innovation and recognizes individual and team achievements. He used to make his employees present their ideas regularly and this was a very attractive feature of Bill Gates' leadership style as it often promotes practicality and teamwork. The nature of Bill Gates' leadership style is autocratic and transformational. His autocratic leadership, where he likes to take the control of his subordinates, has worked very well for the company. His followers built trust in him. His workforce was influenced by his hard-working attitude. Bill Gates is known for using the most effective and efficient leadership style. Whenever quick decisions are to be made, this leadership comes in handy. It's not easy to work with successful leaders like Bill Gates. To make the best company, working tirelessly with the right guidance and motivation is the key element. This is rather adapted by Bill Gates, making him one of the world's best entrepreneurs. Bill Gates has undeniably inspired the era of the home computer. He is truly an inspiration for all those who work with long-term vision and goals. It's not easy to follow the path of Bill Gates, but those who do it have a success waiting at the end of the tunnel. As Bill Gates himself said, to win big, you sometimes need to take big risks.